Okay, Keir, so uh, three points at home against a very good Westfields team. You, uh, you must be delighted with the three points. Yeah, especially after um, the midweek uh, result against Roman Glass to um, to follow that up against probably one of the best sides in the league. I think everyone everyone here today watching with never good crowd would have seen what a top, top side they are. Um, created lots of chances. Um, and today I just felt that that we almost just wanted it a little bit more. And that's probably what it came down to. I think after the first 10 minutes, we had a little bit of a slow start. Um, they've hit the bar from a long range effort. Um, I think Brownie might have got fingertips to it as well um, to, to make a really good save. And probably a little bit against the runner play. We um, we went one nil up with a really well taken goal from Brandon, his first one for the club. Um, and so we enjoyed that one. And um, I think since that happened, I think then we we look to be more on the front foot and, and dominate for large periods. Um, we we frustrated them all afternoon. We defended really well and um, just a really well-earned three points against probably one of the best sides in the league. Um, you only have to look at our most recent r run that we've had. Played Bishops Cleave, um, really good point um, uh, at home to those. And then obviously Westfield's again going to be another side that are going to be up there fighting for... Um, for, the, for that top top two top three spot and um we've grinded out um a really pleasing um performance to to give us the three points today and to a man every single person tremendous and to keep doing it week after week is, is a credit to their mentality and their attitude and to everyone at the football club i just felt like it it, it almost almost was like a perfect afternoon for us you know brownie pay, pulled off some good saves when we needed them um we limited them to half chances um, they created a lot before they got up to the final third, like moved the ball really well. But we seemed to, uh, to, to get on top in the key moments in the match um, and at good times. Um, the second goal um, really settled us down. And after that, it maybe could have been, um, we could have grabbed three or four. You know, I think we had, if you have watched back on your highlights when you put them out, you'll probably see that their keeper pulled off, you know, three or four good saves after we were 2 0 up or um, during the second half. And um, yeah, so. What more can I say about the boys so far this season? Um, exceeding expectations, um, really good hunger, desire, attitude, mentality so far. And um, yeah, like I said to you on um, on Tuesday, and like I keep saying to you, and people get bored of me saying it, is don't get too carried away and excited when we win. Boys enjoyed that one today because it was a it was a really tough game. But um, yeah, we don't we, we don't get too upset when um, when when we drop points, which we will again. Um, so it's just one of those um, one of those results that, from a management point of view, can be really proud of the performance, really proud of the players, and uh, to a man, um, absolutely faultless. Something that I've criticised the lads for, especially at the start of the season, was going one nil up and then sitting back and inviting pressure and conceding late on. Is there a bit of a confidence boost with some of the good results we've had recently to to score the first goal and then to look forward to the second and third goal? I think the improvement in the squads helped. You know, we we can make good, positive changes. Um, uh, Bathy, when he came on today before he went off again, unfortunately with a with a hamstring injury, so we'll have to assess that one. But you could see that the dimension of, of how we played ch changed, you know, and we could alleviate some of the pressure when the ball went up to him and held up really well, created some really good opportunities for himself and others. So, um, yeah, that's a that's been a, a pleasing thing to bring in another forward that can, that can support and help. Uh, Matt is nearly back to full fitness now after... Um, after his um, situation with COVID, which has obviously knocked him about a little bit, but he's starting to look more like himself now. We've got Brandon back after four or five weeks out. We've had Swanee out for a month. So, um, you know, the, the squad looks stronger. And um, we've had Dave Thompson added to the mix over the last couple of weeks. Again, he was outstanding today. And, you know, he adds that leadership and that, um, that um, communication that sometimes we miss a little bit and the experience to see games out. But... Um, other than sort of their two half chances that they had um, in the second half, um, I think we we were probably good value. Um, yeah, it was a it was a really good game of football. I enjoyed it. Shook the shook the guys' hands in their dugout after. Wished them all the best, and you know we know we'll, ha we'll have a really tough game when we go back down there later on in the season. They had a sending off midway through the second half. How much of an effect did that have on the game? I think come at a really good time for us. Um, you know the boys were were working really really hard. The midfield three of Chrissy, um, Nathan, Brandon at the time. So when they picked up that second yellow, I, I'm not sure which minute it was, maybe about the 70th minute, um, 
I think that was almost a gave us a, like a like a few inches. You know, we grew a little bit. We know that we could stay on top and we could keep the ball and look after it a little bit. Um, and after that, they probably didn't create another chance after that. You know, and that 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 killed them getting back into the game. And um, yeah, and like I said, we, on another day, if their keeper pulled off two or three really good saves towards the end, it, it might have been more comfortable. Probably would have been a little bit harsh on them for it to be three or four, but I don't think they could have any complaints that we were the better side today and, and we, we deserved our three points. And Brandon picked up man of the match for us today. A comment on his performance and then any other stand standouts for you? Yeah, Brandon, he's been a player that um, had a really good pre-season, um, started the season really well, got an unlucky injury. Um, he's come back in, um, he started against Chipping Sobri, he's come on and had um, minutes Tuesday night and I knew he was going to start today because we spoke about it. Brilliant performance for him, um, took his goal really well, picked up loads of second balls, was really ferocious without it, you know, picked up um, lots of little bits and pieces, one headers and tackles, so maybe deserved his man of the match today, but I think that would have been harsh to pick anyone out from that. Chrissy was superb again today, I thought. Back four and Brownie really, really composed at all times. Um, and when when we need to have that little bit of composure in front of goal, um, we we had that. So, yeah, like, like, like I said to you, perfect performance. Um, and I think we only picked up maybe one booking as well in, in, in a game where you've seen like five, six, seven cards get thrown about. Um, so, yeah, our discipline's been really good and that's going to be important moving forward to make sure that the, the squad stays healthy. Um, along with um, making sure that we look after niggles and knocks and things like that. I think if we can keep this squad together, obviously Jimmer was away today. Um, Stocksy was on the bench after he mid missed midweek, but we look really strong. And um, if we can keep that core together and don't suffer too many absences on that, then, um, yeah, who, who knows what can happen. But like I said to you on Tuesday, we could finish 10th, we could finish 6th, we could finish 3rd. Um, I, I, I'm not too sure because, you know, it's a new league and, and we don't know what we're playing most of the time each week, which sometimes work is a, is a good thing for us and, and, and sometimes it doesn't. But um, I think anyone that watched today in front of a brilliant crowd again, um, would say that we deserve that today. And lots of away games coming up for us, especially through December. Some really difficult matches, including next week against Hereford away. Uh, is, is the coach trip something the boys are looking forward to? Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like we need it. You know, I feel like we need to let our hair down a little bit, you know, have a good sing song on the coach. Um, make sure that, um, you know, the boys that uh, have, haven't been here for, for very long, get integrated and, and, and have that team social. I think that's massively important to to football teams at our level um you know that, that you have that that team spirit in the changing rooms it's all all good and well to be singing when you're winning and things like that but it's important that you know whether you win lose or draw that everyone comes in and does their bit in here and be part of the club and be part of the community so yeah looking forward to that coach trip next week it'll be uh, a lot sweeter if we get the get a, get a win for for the for the trip on the way home but um we'll have um, a little look at it midweek. Some boys will need the week off. Some boys need to do a little bit that haven't played much and then hopefully stand us in good stead ready for that away trip next week.